In this video, I'm going to show you how to import your own graphics like this into the Logo Maker Canvas. I'm also going to show you how to vectorize the graphics so you could go from a graphic like this to a graphic like this, and then you could change its color. This is really cool because you could also zoom in and it never loses quality. This is an amazing technology Logo Maker has. I'm also going to show you how you could integrate your graphic into a design or logo like this, giving you unlimited possibilities and making your design unique and custom. After clicking on this icon, it's going to open up a pop-up that looks like this. This is going to allow you to upload a PNG, JPEG, or SVG image. I'm going to go ahead and just click on this area right now to upload an image. Then I'm going to go ahead and choose the drawing or image I want to upload. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and choose this drawing I made. I'm going to click open and I'm going to click this green button that says yes, convert it to a vector icon. If you click no, it will add that image to your canvas, but this is a rasterized image and you don't want that because you can't change its color and it will get very blurry if you start zooming in on it. So go ahead and click on yes, convert it to a vector icon. It's going to ask you to crop the images. Just click on these blue little tabs on the side to get it just right. Once you have it, click crop image. You'll have a choice to erase areas of it or to finalize it. I'm going to click finalize. It's going to give you four vector profiles. These are different color profiles. The best one is this one. I highly recommend it because it's an icon profile and it's going to make it look really, really nice by taking out the background elements and then you could change its color really nicely. Also, notice you could zoom in really, really nicely to this and it will never lose quality, unlike your original picture. If I zoom in on this, you'll see it's really pixelated. So this is really, really cool that you could zoom in just like that. If you want, you could use another image. For example, here's an image that has good contrast. As you can see, it created this icon really nicely. Now you could go ahead and add text to the top, bottom, and you could even add stuff in the background to make this look absolutely amazing. But more importantly, this is now a custom design that you created and nobody will have that same look as you do. And because this converted itself into a vector format, you're gonna be able to put it on print media stuff like t-shirts, banners, your website, business cards, and so on without losing any quality. And to download these images, just go up to the top right and click on the save logo. You could see all the types of images you could print it on. You could download the low resolution for free or get the high resolution, which is highly recommended. So you could put this on your t-shirts, banners, websites, and so on. There's endless possibilities on how you could use this tool. So get creative and have fun.